don't, don't touch the camera, bro. Yeah. Chill out, bro. You gotta go. Hey, chill out. Chill out. This is the craziest situation we've ran into while exposing witchcraft. We went to an area called Barrio Logan to evangelize and didn't expect to see what we saw. This is literally witchcraft. This is voodoo, bro. There was demonic witchcraft altars set up all over the park to celebrate the Day of the Dead. What are the chances that this is literally the Day of the Dead celebration? This is literally the Santa Muerte, bro. Like, Yahweh hates this. This is demonic, bro. As we interviewed this woman, a whole group of 20 plus people came out of nowhere to confront us. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know what y'all doing, man. Y'all need, need to chill out for real. Don't, don't touch the camera, bro. Hey, chill out. Stop. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. How old are you, bro? Let's be out right now. Right, no, no, right now. Brother, you just ran over there on some drums. Let's go! We exposed Mexican witchcraft and got confronted by gang members in one of the most dangerous cities of California. Watch the full video all the way to the end. Warning, this video might contain content that will get you righteously angry. I want you guys to make sure you pray before you watch this video all the way to the end. The Holy Spirit had his way, God exposed darkness, and we're able to put this on the internet to show you guys how real it is in the field. Watch this video all the way to the end. Hey guys, so we are in Barrio Logan and we're in an area where there's a bunch of murals. I mean, as you guys can see, there's a bunch of altars, literal altars, literal. And this is literal modern day necromancy. It's not coincidence that Barrio Logan is located in one of the worst areas of San Diego. There's actually demonic portals open. So we were led here by the spirit. We had no idea what was going on. We had no idea that it was even the day of the dead. We had no idea that Barrio Logan was a place for satanic worship with the religion Sante Muerte or the Catholic practice of worshiping the saint of the dead. So when we got here, it was straight spirit led. We had just went to a witchcraft store, interviewed a witch, prayed for her. It was a powerful encounter. After this encounter at the witchcraft store, we were on our way home and I felt led by the spirit to go to one more place. All I did was go on Google, looked up scenic views, a place where it'd be populated so we can get encounters and interviews. We saw Barrio Logan. We saw Chicano Park. The mural popped up. It looked pretty. I was like, yo, let's go. It looks pretty dope. When we pull up, little did we know it was a whole ritual it was a whole demonic satanic revival going on worshiping the false god santa muerte father in the name of jesus we just pray right now lord we pray against every demonic portal lord that you would close it right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth reveal what you conceal for your glory in jesus name amen look at that man it's a literal altar look at that but this is the same thing we see in the witchcraft stores look the episode here is but yeah. unless you have permission from the people who run the events here to film and record Yes. Then I can't let this proceed. Is it, is it, is it's a very sensitive event going on. But oh, is this actually an event today? No. What, what's the event? It's, it's the Day of the Dead celebration. That's this is the Day of the Dead celebration? No. Can you please put the camera down? So, can I ask you a question? Do, do you, like, is this, is this, is this your, you saying it or is it the city? Can you put the camera down? So, camera. unless legally we have to put it down, we're not going to put it down. I'm going to get somebody that can talk to you guys that knows a little bit more about this. Okay, thank you. This is a public park and we're being told not to record in a public park. I don't understand. When you believe in something, why would you want to hide it? Look, you can come to any church service, take out your phone and record. I don't stop anyone from recording. We live stream our services. We post it online for everybody to see. We have nothing to hide. When we're worshiping our Lord, we put it on the internet. When we pray in the church together as a congregation, we put it online. We have no problem displaying what we believe. How come when it comes to witchcraft, other religions they don't want to display it they always want to hide it don't record don't record it's because those spirits it's not the people I'm gonna say this we are not against those people that were in the park they're deceived through generations of tradition and religion and witchcraft so us being there we had the legal right government right abide by the governing laws of the land to record but this young man was sent to try to stop us we didn't stop because we don't have to abide by his rules it's a public park and we're allowed to record let the dead bury the dead man when you die you're either in heaven or you're in hell man what the chances that this is literally the day of the dead celebration this is literally the santa muerte bro look this is this is literally witchcraft this is voodoo bro look they put it this is sad bro look at this we're gonna expose this darkness this is a day of the dead celebration we had no idea look at this is they, they, they're doing witchcraft in this stuff right now the kingdom of god comes with power we close every demonic portal. We rebuke every demonic spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, may you come down and end this, Lord. You see, 
Yahweh hates this. This is necromancy. This is witchcraft. This is literally worshiping the dead. You go read the Old Testament, God, it literally is clear as day. This is literally what God hates. He detests this. And it's crazy how they mix it with Catholicism. Worshiping Mary, putting a cross, man, this is demonic, bro. We had no idea this was gonna happen, bro. Santa Muerte is a popular witchcraft religion within the Mexican community. They mix Catholicism with witchcraft and occult practices, worshiping the saint of the dead, the Santa Muerte. The saint is actually represented with a skull. They're worshiping a literal skull, a skeleton. And they believe that this, this deity or this spirit is supposed to protect them. You can go watch other videos that we posted where we expose Santa Muerte, a very popular witchcraft religion. And I found out recently it's actually the fastest growing religion in America is Santa Muerte. You don't want to practice this. This is the same thing as voodoo. I've seen these same altars, similar statues, similar practices that they're doing. I've seen it in voodoo. I've seen it in Santeria. It's all the same family. It's witchcraft. It's demonic worship. It gets you nowhere other than hell. Now, the devil not only wants to kill your body, but he wants to take your soul to hell. That's his main goal. If the demons can take your soul to hell, they win. The angels, Jesus, the kingdom of God wants to save your soul to go to heaven. The demons want to, want to kill your soul and bring you to hell. Think about it. In Christianity, love joy peace kindness goodness gentleness self-control patience right all these great things and then you see these demonic religions with anger murder revenge luck the love of money lust all this type of crazy stuff it's because that's demonic worship uh, can we get an interview really quick can we interview you really quick just ask questions so we had no idea this was going on what what is all this uh, this is an altar for the Dia de los Muertos. It's a Mexican culture, and we are a group of Danza Azteca, and we do the altar each year. So that's okay. Why we make hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So at this point, a whole mob of people pull up on this. I guess the young man went and got his friends and family, the people who are probably staying there doing the witchcraft rituals all day and now all night that are staying there consecrated, doing a retreat revival to the devil, pulled up on us, threatening us. They came telling us to put the camera down, touching it, smacking down our phone, straight physically, cursing us out, ready to go. You see people from old ladies to young boys to, to people who look like they're gang banging because they were throwing up sets and doing different things and a guy actually pulled out a knife and threatened us with a knife it was a custom-made knife real deal like one of those long ones like he was gonna stab us man and we had to tell him like bro put that thing away and it was only by the grace of God by the power of the Holy Spirit that he didn't start spazzing out four of us against 20 to 30 of these people crazy right it was only by the grace of God that we didn't get jumped just to be straight up it was only by the grace of God that we didn't get jumped watch this video to the end hey Hey, I don't know what y'all doing, man. Y'all need, need to chill out for real. Y'all need to chill out for real. Don't, don't touch the camera, bro. Yeah, chill out, bro. Touch the camera. You can't, you can't, you can't touch us like this. Bro. We can. This is our part. We ain't from here, bro. We, we don't, we don't gotta deal with this, with this, with this drama. Hey, bro. Hey, There's more reason why you gotta go. Hey, stop. Stop. Y'all in our space. Bro, no, no, we not. We better watch y'all. I was, I was trying to explain it to you. I'm trying to explain it to you. I'm trying to explain it to you. I'm trying to explain it to you. At this point, I called the cops. Look, I am no longer in the world. I am no longer against police. Every service, we have a police officer on duty, protecting the facility, protecting the family and children. We have armed security guards in our service. We use wisdom. We use wisdom and we believe in abiding by the governing laws of the land. God and placed them there for a reason. So we are not against the police. We are not against the popos, the, what they call the pigs, all that stuff, no. We are for the people that got places for our protection. Cause I guarantee you, the minute somebody you love, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother gets kidnapped or something crazy happens. The first people you're going to be calling is the police, no matter how, how hard you try to act. Come on, man. We got to get over this, man. And again, it's not the people. It's those spirits operating in these people that need to come out. They need deliverance. They need healing. I'm not against these people. And at the end, we're going to say a prayer for every single person that was involved in this video. And even the people later that were, that were spoken to that they tried to go get. This is where it gets real. Again, the guy pulled out a knife. They started wilding out. They were threatening us about 20 days deep. I don't know how many didn't count. We were only four. Me, Berean, Pastor Benji, and Fred. Four people against 20, 25. That shows you, man. It's God's grace that kept us. Watch to the end. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Stop. Okay, so we're, we're being cool. 
talk to Yes, they're being physically violent. They're trying to get you. They're to hit my phone. They're to hit my phone. I'm just letting you know on camera if they do do it again. I'm going to figure out once it. He tried to knock the phone out his hand. Yeah, my f***ing phone. He's a big ass. We're not even doing it. He tried to knock the phone out his hand. Bro, we didn't tell you about it. We over here just interposing the interview with people. They over here start wilding, start coming up here. This kid trying to touch my phone. At this point, the police told us exit, the smartest thing to do would be to leave and wait until they got there. So we left, we, had, we listened to the police, we began to leave. And as we're leaving, they kept following us, antagonizing us, continuing to try to start something. It's crazy. Four of us against 25 of them. That's how much those spirits have control over them. Because any normal person would have been like, hey, bro, leave, leave. All right, you're leaving, bye. Or you're calling the police. All right, let's wait for the police to come to settle this, right? That's just common sense. When you have peace in your life, but they obviously were in a different spirit was operating and wanted us to get out of there and not expose deeper things. Because I was going to interview that lady who seemed to be a witch and get a powerful encounter I believe I was gonna pray for her she probably was gonna get touched by the Holy Spirit preach the gospel we had plans to actually spread the love of Jesus out there and let people know the truth but look those spirits operating in them wanted us out of there ASAP and it kind of reminds you of the Bible with Paul and how he would go to different areas and they would kick him out they would groups and riots would come stone him to death all types of crazy stuff but the Lord always had Paul's back and that that day the Lord had our back God is good let's continue you don't even know where you're at. You said we're in the barrier. Where we at? You're at a park. It does matter. That's the problem. This is a sacred space. That's the problem. We're walking in. That's the disrespect. You know. Because you said it don't matter. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Because the level of disrespect. You're on camera. That's the level of disrespect. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know your. I don't know your your religious background. I don't know where you pray. I'm still educating you. I get it. You're leaving. Let's talk about it peacefully with love. So think about it in our shoes. We're walking here, we have no idea what this is. Right? So we don't Exactly. So, okay, okay, so yeah. So think about it. And then he comes like wilding out. What are we supposed to do? Listen, I don't know. 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 I'm not talking about being fair. It matter, okay? I'm not talking about it being fair. At this point, I'm trying to reason with them. I'm trying to speak logic, speak sense. They're just not receiving it. I let them know. For four of us, look how many you guys are. You guys approached us. You guys are being crazy, being very angry, murderous, coming at us. Look at it. Look at the logic behind it. And it's crazy because a few of the people actually started receiving. And what I made sure I did is at the end, I looked at the main guy, the one that looked like he was running the show. And I said, look, bro, I'm sorry. And I looked at the other young boys who were, who were threatening to, to fight and all that stuff. I said, I'm sorry if I hurt you. I'm sorry. Forgive me. And I let them know that before I left, just to make somewhat peace, to let them know. It wasn't because of fear. No, I trust in my Lord. I trust in my Lord and Savior. I trust in Yahweh. I'm protected. But it was to make peace with these people, that hopefully they would see the love of God in us and know that we're true men of God and different, that we didn't want to fight them, that we didn't want beef. We didn't want arguments. We didn't want to do any of that. We didn't want that. And I believe that, that we left an impression on them because of how different we were. And the Spirit of God protected us the entire time. Let's be out right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. No, no, right now. What do you just ran over there on some drums? We're about to be out. Pass the busy. Let's go. Let's go. And what Fred was saying at this point was that somebody actually went, hopped the fence, and they were running to get even more people. Who knows? Maybe the people that were more gang-affiliated or gang activity. We don't know. They were running to get even more people. It was just like, bro, like, who are we that we're so dangerous to you? You see what I'm saying? Crazy, man. Keep watching. How you doing? You want to do great things. You want to go to Let's go!
So again, we know it's not the people, it's the spirits operating, so we're not mad at the people. What I want to do is let anybody watching that was there at that part, at that moment, or anybody that heard about it, that might feel like they're against us for what we did, I want to let you know that I love you and I'm not against you. I'm not against people. I'm against false religions because I was in it. I was in witchcraft. I did all those things. And I want to help people get out of that deception. You don't have to worship a dead saint. It's not about your tradition. It's not about where you come from and, and street cred and respect. That stuff gets old very quick when your friends are dying. People are going to prison. People are getting locked up. There's so much death, chaos, and mayhem and murder around. Those kids are like 16, 15, some of them that were in that video. What are they doing? Moving like that at such a young age. What's their future? What lies ahead for them? Is it a is it a bright future? You see what I'm saying? Like, bro, this stuff, the, this, that spirit of death, that spirit of death is a demon that has legal access over these people because they worship it and they're doing it in ignorance. So I pray that you would find the truth and I'm going to say a prayer right now for every person that watches this video that's in Santa Muerte, that was at that park because I love you and I want, I want you to be saved. I want you to encounter Jesus like I did. I wasn't raised in the church. I wasn't raised in religion. I was raised without believing in a higher power or not knowing who the power will hire power was as I got older I didn't know and trust me I, I was in the Catholic Church my mom would take me to Catholic Church and I never believed because I never had an encounter with Jesus when you encounter the only true living God and get filled with his spirit you'll know I didn't give everything up for no reason so I want to pray and everyone else come in agreement with me because I believe if a hundred thousand people pray that people will get encountered saved come out of something what then we'll stop this fast growing religion here in America and slow it down in Jesus name so I pray right now for anybody watching Lord anybody watching that was at that part or heard about it later that might have anger, murder, revenge, rejection, fear, pride, whatever it is in their heart, Lord, that you would deliver them right now in the name of Jesus. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would fill them with your peace, your love, and your joy, that they would know they don't need to do that. Lord, you're showing me that there's people out there who are called to be apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers, who are called to lead in this end times revival, to break and confound religion, to, to change what's been happening in the church according to your word, the real book of Acts, real Bible, Lord. So I pray in Jesus' name, Lord, that you would save souls. I pray to the Lord of the harvest that you would send out more laborers to break the power of Santa Muerte, Santeria, Voodoo, any witchcraft and bring a freedom to the people. Expose true darkness and bring light, the light of Jesus Christ. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. If you prayed this prayer and you come in agreement, I want you to comment down below. If you have a testimony with Santa Muerte coming out of it, comment it down below because you don't know who's watching this. Probably one of the young kids are going to see this video and they're going to watch it all the way through and they're going to read the comments and they might be alone. No Nobody else around concerned. They really are curious about what's going on. Look, if that's you, brother, seek Jesus for yourself. I'm telling you, he's the he's the truth. He's the way. He's the life. No one comes to the Father but through him. You can't make it to heaven only through Jesus. And you don't need to bow down to idols. You don't need to bow down to statues. You don't need to bow down to witchcraft gods. You can literally have a relationship with the highest power. And he loves you. He's your father. He doesn't want you to be condemned. He doesn't want you to be murderous and angry. He wants you to be freed. So I pray that this business this video blesses you again comment down below if you prayed like the video go share with everybody subscribe to the youtube channel hit that bell icon for notifications let's spread the love of god and expose darkness and the truth again it's not the people it's the spirits operating man we got to expose true darkness and bring the light of christ god bless y'all in jesus name